Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. We now got issue 62 of Build the Terminator. Look, I thought I'd power both his eyes up so uh, you could see what they look like. But uh, he is heavy. And the reason I put him next to me is so you can just see how big he is at the moment. Look, he doesn't even fit on the screen. Uh, if I put him <laughs> there or next to me, he's getting there, isn't he? So I've just put him lying down there at the moment. Uh, first off, issue 62, I need to give a big thank you to Graham Loki. Uh, if it wasn't for Graham, I wouldn't have this magazine. I had an absolute nightmare trying to get hold of it. And Graham, being a gentleman and scholar, sent it out to me so I can build that for you today. Uh, hopefully, uh, for the 15th of June, the news agents will be open and I can actually go back to normal scheduling. But uh, at the moment, I am finding it a little bit difficult to get hold of these. And, and there is quite a little bit to do in this issue. See, you'll be forgiven to think there isn't much to do when you see how much stuff we've just got in the pack here. Uh, but in the actual instructions, you can see we have got quite a bit to do. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fitting another joint section here with a ratchet in it. Uh, then we're going to be putting a detail on the part from issue 61 that we were working on, looking just like that. Uh, and then we've got another detail just to put on the side of that. We're going to need some other things that we've got from these issues here. I believe one of these was issue 59 and I think one of these was 60. So we're going to need these two bits as well. Well, these are metal just so you know you can hear that when they're clanking together uh, and we're going to be creating the knee joint which is going to be able to support the bottom leg when that goes on so by the end of it we're going to have this section completed it's worth noticing we are going to need some glue and we're also going to need our allen key for this one because one of the screws is an allen screw now in the next issue as you can see we're going to start work on the lower right leg so i don't think it's going to be too long before the legs complete but uh this is going to be good isn't it i like lighting it up i have to say but uh without further ado let's get cracking okay the first thing i'm going to do is just push some glue in here just like that because we're going to need to glue some parts together put that over there and the first things we need are this section here looking just like that and we're also going to need the little ratchet section i've always called these things ratchet sections uh, i don't know why if they're actually called that who knows but uh i've got uh if you've noticed here a brand new pin vise my other pin vise wasn't gripping hold of the pins or drill bits very good in the end. So I bought myself a new one. And uh, this one seems to be working absolutely fine. But all I'm doing is I'm just putting some glue just around the inner side there. Just so when I put this in, it's going to fit flat, not come out. So let's put this in. Just like that. Push it into place. And there we go. That's that section in just like that. Put that to one side because we've got a couple of other details now that we're going to need to glue together. Got this one here. These are all plastic, just so you know, looking like that. And we've got the other side to that, which looks just like that. And once again, we're just going to follow the diagram here. We've got two lugs here and two holes. We're going to glue this together so this is going over the top like that. So once again, get some glue on my... Uh, pin vice and I'm just going to wrap that around the middle there I'm just seeing how these go in yeah the pins from the other side actually go inside this so I'm right to just put some glue around the middle bit there so you really don't need to cake this in glue and then that will just push into here like that and then that's that detail complete as well now quite simply when we've got this section as I said this is from issue 61 you can see we've got two holes here. We've got a sort of like notch in there and we've got a, a hole just at the top. Uh, it's going to accept it this way around. It can only go one way and this is going to be going in just like that. Now, it clips in quite nicely and it stays in on its own. But it does say if you want to, you can glue it. For now, while I'm on camera, I won't glue it. I'll probably glue it in after production. Okay, now we're going to be taking the section we just made here and we're going to be putting it over this section here. Now, as you can see, you have got a notch just at the top there. That's going to mirror the notch you've got there. So you know which way this is going to go. In. It's going to go this way around. It's going to fit flat in there. It's going to take three screws and they are three times six mil screw. So I'll put these in there. Here's the first one. And we can make these as tight as we can. That's the first one in. Here's the second one. Nice and tight. And finally, oops, the third one here. Just like that. And now that's that section in. 
Now we're gonna to need to bring over the Terminator, but he needs to be the other way around. So what I'm gonna do is just disconnect his eyes that I had put in. Just one off, two off, not the eyes, the power for the eyes. And I'm gonna flip him upside down. Supporting his arm all the time when I do that. And as I said, I don't have to worry too much about the head dropping down because I did put this G clamp on here just to support it so it doesn't move around too much. Uh, but I'm gonna be working on this section right here. So quite simply, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section, we're gonna thread this section just through this uh, tendon which has been left at the moment. And then we're gonna be pushing this into place between these two sections here, just like that. And then on the outside one here, we've got this shaped piece here, which does mirror the shape of that part there as well. It is worth noticing that because I know you can't see that. So I'm gonna put that into place here, just like that, making sure that it's lined up completely and it embeds in there. So this side's completely flat on there. And then we'll put the other side in here. So just move his arm over. And once again, just put that in and revolve it around till it sits flush in there, just like that. And then from this side, we're gonna be putting in the screw that has the Allen key ends there. So I've got this Allen key rather than the one they gave us. It's just gonna be easier to screw. So I'll put that down the middle there, line it all up and then screw that in. Nice and tight. And that's it. That's that section done. And that is that part complete. Issue 62 is done. So there we go. It wasn't as much to do as I thought it was. <laughs> when you see pages of instructions, you think, oh, this is going to take forever, but it doesn't. So uh, pretty happy of how that's looking at the moment anyway. But uh, if you like that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the next stage of the Ecto-1. So I'll see you then. Take care.